Hi, I'm here with Martin Bellinia, yeah, hello. Kenyan artist. Yes. We have formed a relationship and a friendship today. You will see many of his paintings here. And we want to talk to you a little bit about where you've come from, what inspires you, and what's ahead for you. So the first question for you, Martin, yeah. is uh, what is your background? Tell me a little bit about your family, first of all, if you could. My family actually is from Western Kenya. Um, um, my father had six wives. He was like chief of uh, amongst his people. Um, I'm one of the last children of in the family. And uh, at the early age, you know, I was looking after goats and sheep, and we used to play painting, you know, making some uh, small. Uh, statues out of mud, wood, uh -huh. and all that. And uh -huh. Those were playing tools for us, and I think sure, that sure. was the, okay. the essence. So by me. playing, you found that you had a talent for art. Yeah. By playing, yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't know it until I, when I was in school. It's when I, I realized I that see. it has some meaning. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Good. And and you have a family now. How many kids do you have now? I have three. Three kids. And two. Uh, adopted one from my late brother. Uh-huh, that's, yeah. nice. yeah. that's nice. And they paint as well? My two children are very good. Uh -huh. In fact, one of the paintings that we have is painted by my elder daughter. Uh, tell me, um, when did you, when was that breakthrough moment for you where you said, aha, uh -huh, I have something here and I can do something with it, meaning your talent. When, when was that moment for you when you realized that art was something that you could just take out? You know. um, when I came to Nairobi in 1985, uh -huh. and there was a, an advert, the French Cultural Center wanted to hold an exhibition, a panoramic kind of thing, yeah. carrying the all areas of East Africa, uh -huh. trying to find out about artists. I was one of those ones who submitted my work. Uh -huh. I, see, I see. And from that time, I got some inspiration. Mm -hmm. They uh -huh. encouraged me, yeah. and I started <laughs> to paint now more seriously. Uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And where are you featured in Kenya? Where can one find your work? Can they find it all over? Uh, in specific areas, particularly the Kenya National Museum. Kenya National Museum. The Ramona uh, Gallery. Ramona. Um, there is also Tasama Art Gallery. I think is the most extensive in Kenya. Uh -huh. The whole world, in fact. You, uh -huh. My piece. I've sold pieces all right. over the world. Right. Um, let's talk about some of these paintings here that we have, that you have, can you tell me what is what is this about and where did you get the idea for this painting? Yeah, this is actually a common scene in an African setup in the rural area. Uh -huh. But this one is a particular Maasai village. Uh -huh. Although the traditional kind of heart of the Maasai are usually dome shaped. Okay. But they have adjusted this kind of thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it's a typical setup. Uh -huh. Communal, people sitting, people right. talking, sure, sure. people looking after cattle, people uh -huh. going to the river uh -huh. to get water. Yeah. So this is the kind of setup. Uh -huh. Good. Now, a lot of your paintings, Martin, have the Maasai as a subject, am I correct? Yes. What, is there a particular reason for that? There is a reason. Uh, my father used to work for a white missionary, and he was based in Maasai I see. So I grew up there. Uh -huh, I, see, I, see. I was brought up, raised up amongst these people, I see. and uh -huh. I think they influenced me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, so when I think the memories that usually come yeah, yeah. around me, I, yeah. they are centered around yeah. them. That's very interesting. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. So a lot of your childhood memories are of the Maasai tribe. Yes. Yeah, that's right. And do you still have a lot of communication with your friends from back in the day or with the yes, tribe I itself? I live in Maasai one. I live in Kitengela, oh, okay. which is an area where okay. these people are. Okay. With okay. the animals, they are my neighbors. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. And what do they think about your art? Well, they like art, but they have got their own traditional type of art, uh -huh. which they specialize in spears, shields, uh, in uh, pots, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So they look at this, uh -huh. and they see it is strange, it's depicting their way of life. Okay. But they think it's for more for sure, the white sure. people, uh -huh. not for them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But of course, 
teachers and uh, maybe religious leaders understand uh -huh. because uh -huh. they have been to school. Sure, they, sure. I usually paint some or a portrait for their family uh -huh. and they keep it in their house. That's nice. That's nice. Let's talk about the last one, and that will conclude our interview with you. Yeah. Tell me, this one's a bit different. It's all, it's the background is kind of it's more abstract. Uh, where did you get the idea for this painting? Do you remember? Yeah, there is um, near Angol, uh, near uh, Earth River. Uh -huh. uh, there is a river called Abi, uh -huh. and uh, this is the only source of water for the Masa. The uh -huh. area is very dry. Uh -huh. So I was sitting around the bank and I saw this. Uh -huh. I, I didn't have a, a camera to take the picture, uh -huh. but I sort of just got it in my right, head. Right. So right. this is the essence of the beginning of this. Uh -huh. So I was trying to, 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 to get that me yeah. message and put it on, okay. on the game. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Great, Great. Yeah. excellent, excellent. Well, you have an extraordinary talent. Thank you very much for sharing it with us. Thank you. Uh, we will be seeing you again, thank for sure. Yeah. God's blessings to you. God and thank you, Martin. You.